We come to the 13th video on beginning Java. Today we will be dealing with objects in Java. We will be discussing objects in the broadest sense to give you a working understanding of how they function in Java. So in the previous videos we have been coding a bunch of lines and creating all these programs. But what does that mean in the larger sense? Wouldn't it make sense to make programs with lines of code that we can use again and again if we need them? Well, I'll try to answer that in this video. The critical element to understanding and utilizing Java to its fullest extent is OOP. That is Object Oriented Programming. Now, when beginning programmers hear the term object or OOP, they naturally ask the question, what on earth does that relate to? And what does that mean? Well, it's a good question. And first, you have reason to fear that type of weird jargon. But it is objects that will make your life in Java so much easier. So if there was one video in this series you would want to understand and comprehend to its fullest extent, it would be this one. This video will fundamentally change the way you think of your program. You will think of it less as a series of lines of code and more a collection of objects. Objects that you can use to accomplish tasks that you want your program to perform. So if I had to describe OOP in one word, it would be reusability. So keep that in mind as we go forward. Reusability, reusing lines of code for a specific task that you can use over and over again. So before we get started on coding an object, let's talk about a real world object because you know it's always good to compare things in real life. Let's say you can create planets and wow what a power that would be. Now let's also assume that you are creating your first planet. So then you go ahead and design your planet and you're ready to create your first planet. But you also decide, hey, I want to make more planets based off the template of the first planet. So the first planet becomes the template for the rest of the planets you produce. It's a blueprint that you can create other planets or objects from. And as I said, it acts as a template or object template. You can think of classes in the same way. You use classes to provide a blueprint for an object. So basically an object is created from a class and of course we've been dealing with classes. So that's a new way to think of the class that we defined earlier. So after you create that initial object, the blueprint of the initial planet, you can use it again and again and again. It's reusable. That is you can create new objects from that original template. But the new objects are considered copies or instances of the original blueprint but we will get more into instances later. Now, every object needs some characteristics, right? So every object has an attribute and a behavior. Back to the planet example, we might say our planet has an attribute of size. Behavior is the other characteristic, and that involves doing something, but we will talk about that later. Okay, so let's go ahead and create an object. Remember, we create objects by using the class as the template. So let's go ahead and create our first object. So we're going to type in public class and the name of our object is going to be planet squiggly brackets. There we go. Now you might say, wait a minute, Ernie, haven't we been doing this already? And the answer to that is yes, that is in all of the previous tutorials we have been doing. We've been doing OOP all along. I just had not explained it yet because I didn't want to confuse you earlier on. Now, remember in the previous videos, I said the public keyword makes this available to other programs. So that is how this class is available to any program that wants to use the planet object that we're defining here. So we created this object called planet, but we can't really do anything with it yet because it doesn't have any attributes and it's attributes that will give it life. So we add those to make the class useful and to do something because after all, a program has to do something, right? So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's define a string. And again, you're gonna notice how similar this is to the other programs that we've been doing. It's the same thing. So we're gonna define a string variable called size and this will be the size of the planet. And then we're gonna go ahead and, and remember, we always define the variable it's the same as the other programs we've been working on. We always do that before the method. So now we're going to give this a method. And we're going to say display 
size squiggly brackets and and now we're going to do a system.out.print so you guys will certainly so you guys will certainly recognize this and we're going to go ahead and print out this string called size of the planet is and we're going to add that to the size parameter we just defined up here so we're going to print out this size the size of the planet so again this looks like just a regular program that we've been using in the other tutorial so we defined our object name as planet the attribute is going to be size and remember we use variables to give an object its attributes so this is going to be the size of the planet and of course every class needs a method so we're going to use the method display size and that's going to call system.out.print and it will print out what we define here so think of this object as having two parts we define the attribute with the string variable of size and the second part of the class is the method and the method is part of the object's behavior it reveals the planet's size so that is where the behavior comes in which I talked about earlier so again size is the attribute and the behavior is the display size method so this is the two parts to this object planet that we have created here now I should point out that in terms of using objects you rarely change the class or methods it's the attributes you change through variables that's what makes each object unique in other words if we create other planets based off this template so they will have their own attributes so let's say we want to now reuse this object planet that we've created in another program okay so let's do just that let's create a new program so we can go ahead and start creating some objects so we're gonna go new file and as always select empty Java file we're going to call this all planets and go ahead and finish and we're gonna define a new program here we're gonna call this all planets and to match the name of the Java file now I want to point out something very quickly here so that you don't get confused you'll notice here you'll notice back here in our template we don't have a main method the reason is is remember this is just a blueprint a template to create objects from so we're not actually running this in fact let's go ahead and run this you'll see it's not gonna work right it doesn't have a main method because it doesn't need a main method this isn't the program this is the program this is where we need to have the main method and then we can go ahead and start creating objects now from our template and here we finally get to create our first object in our new program so we're gonna go ahead and reference our object which is planet of course over here and we're gonna define a new name for this object and it's going to be the planet Earth there we go and here's the keyword that creates the new object new and this will create our new object and there you go so we're referencing this template over here which is planet and we're giving it a new name of earth so this is a new version of this template a new object so now that we've created an object we can go ahead and set the variables and call its methods so here's how we do that we go ahead and use the object that we've created earth dot you'll notice here we're getting some IntelliSense here and we're gonna use the attribute that we defined over here size we don't have to redefine this we already have so we're just gonna say our object dot size equals and I think it's 25,000 miles and there we go now we're getting some IntelliSense here oh well guess what guys you probably already know what the problem here is over here we defined this as a string but this is numeric so we just simply need to change this really quickly to an int and you'll notice that everything is fine now so now we have our attribute defined now we need to do something and we want to print this out we want to use this method that we defined over here in order to do that we type in our new object again now look guys NetBeans was smart enough to realize we've already defined this in our template over here so we can just go ahead and select that and there you go we didn't have to create this method over here again we could just reference it we don't have to type in this system dot out print which is what this method is doing now I want to point out one thing really quickly remember I told you the methods and the class always stays the same 
you'll notice we didn't alter the class. We didn't change this method. The only thing that's different is the attribute. So keep that in mind again. The attribute is what changes for each object. So let's go ahead and run this and we should get this printed out and it should tell us that Earth is 25,000 miles. Let's go ahead and run that. And there we go. Size of the planet is 25,000. Now what we can do is start defining other objects. We could go down here and say, okay, now we're going to go ahead and define Jupiter. Though we're not going to do that here. But you get the idea now how we can keep reusing this. We could create a new program and start referencing this again. So that's the whole concept of how objects work. Now, there are many other ways to use objects. And the big one is called inheritance. We're not going to get to that in this video. We will discuss that in the upcoming video. So we're not done with objects yet. This is just the first way to use them. But there are many other ways. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Please be sure to check out my other Java tutorials and I will see you guys in the next video.